Hey, I'm Jamie. And I'm Jay. And we love giving Halloween props over the top makeovers. Today we've got Lucky Bottoms. Except he has no bottom, so I don't know what's lucky about it. Shh. Don't tell him that. All right, what we got in here? Yes. Look at that. <laughs> he looks awesome. He does. Is he plastic? Oh, he is plastic. It's gonna make him so much easier to paint. Yes, plastic. Sometimes they're silicone or rubber and it's hard to paint, but. <laughs> All right, we got, we got, we got. Armies. Are these his hands? Yes. He's got long fingers. Oh, they're poseable. Nice. Look at that. Give him some uh, some Chrissy fingers. <laughs> Shoulders. Oh, we have some instructions. Yay! They don't always come with instructions. I think the newer ones do, which has been nice. And here is the mechanism. <laughs> a pretty compact little prop. Oh, there's a story on the back. Mm, so how did Lucky Bottoms, does it say how he lost his, his legs? <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> okay, right. I'm not gonna read the whole story. I'm just gonna read this one part. Lucky couldn't handle the silence when the fans headed home from the circus. It drove him into the all night clubs where desperate clowns risk everything. <laughs> He lost his leg in a nightclub. Took one nearsighted magician with lousy <laughs> eyesight to make his legs disappear for good. And lucky to lose his mind. Because anything can happen in Spirit Halloween's world. <laughs> Where desperate clowns risk everything. It's fun to see, before we put them all together, it's kind of fun to see how this thing works. It looks like there's a motor on the bottom and I assume it's gonna rotate or do something. Pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, so this is pretty cool how it works. You've got your motor here and it's got a little offset arm. And that makes this thing rock back and forth, but also this part of it goes back and forth. So that makes a circular motion. And then there's the spring for the head. So while it's doing that, his head's all bouncing around. I love this. He's really cool. This is awesome. His movement is great. And, and I think the way that they got the jaw to kind of cackle and, and laugh and just the head, uh, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. I have to give credit. The other thing is like, we don't normally do clowns. But the reason we got this guy is a couple weeks ago, we had a comment from someone named Callum and they said we should get Lucky Bottoms and give him its spider legs. And we're like, yes, of course we should. So Jay was at Spirit Halloween the other day and found Lucky Bottoms, so. Here we are. Yes. I have no idea how we're gonna do that though. Hey, we've built two giant spiders already. That's true. I feel like we're spider experts. <laughs> spider experts is a stretch. <laughs> so we marked and laid out all of the things we need to cut and to cut them, I'm gonna use a PVC cutter. In the past, we did the hacksaw method, which works, but it took forever. Somebody pointed out this thing, so let's give it a shot. All I have to do is put the pipe in, line it up on my line and This thing is amazing. It's gonna save us so much time and they don't even cost 10 bucks online. I'll put a link in the description. Lucky Bottoms is pretty heavy and for the whole sort of wobbly mechanism to work, the base has to be perfectly sturdy. So we're gonna build him a PVC frame and underneath that frame, we're gonna have four legs coming down. So we'll put some rebar on the ground, slide the legs over the rebar and that should give him a really sturdy base to sit on. The way this is gonna work now is this thing can sit right here. We're gonna zip tie this to this and then our legs are gonna sit now under these four corners here. And the other legs, the actual spider legs, <laughs> they'll come out these holes here. And that way we can take everything apart at the end of the season. Yeah, y'all, we are seriously running out of space. <laughs> All right, so we got it up here. We put the legs in bricks. I think that's gonna keep it sturdy for now. We've got a bunch of PVC cut for the legs, so we're gonna plug it in and see if it looks good. <laughs> It's gonna look great, Let's definitely. Okay, so we've got a 90 here. Those are gonna kinda come up like that. So he's got like his two big arms and then he's got two like, he's almost more like a centipede than a spider. Yes. In a way. Yeah, these two like middle arms that come they, out of kind like of his belly. come out of his chest, yeah. Right. And then eventually the claws will go on here, right? Yeah, so there'll be a claw on the end of each arm. Same deal here. Right, but these go oh, down yeah, these first. Down. <laughs> this thing's gonna be so big. I don't know how we ended up with two extra 45s. There may be something wrong here. <laughs> Pink phone. We can't escape this stuff. We use, it, we use it so much. Should invest in pink phone. Buy some stock in big foam. All right, it's time to make his little claw things. And you know what we're realizing while we're looking at his picture? He's actually more like 
crab spider than spider spider. Like spiders have little tiny little toe feet and he's got like these giant knife claws. But yeah, I think we can just carve them from this foam. And we've cut some blanks, so they're a couple different sizes for the legs. Actually, the, the top arms, the ones that Lucky Bottoms already has, we're gonna keep those as hands. So at some point, he actually does have hands. And it's really creepy, like he has a hand and then it turns into like 12 hands and then like the claw grows out. Super disturbing. <laughs> it's time to carve the claws. The back's gonna be rounded and then this part is gonna come to a sharp point. To do that, we are gonna use the blade to cut off the bulk of it, and then we're gonna finesse it with the surform tool. Surform tool. I think it's called surform, but surform is sure easier to say. Drilling this foam is a little tricky because it kind of just tears. So we just had to go really, really slow. And then we'll be able to just attach them and take them on and off to make it easy to store. And it's awesome. Next, we're gonna cover the claws in dry lock to give it a little bit of texture. Those came out so good. Let's put them on and complete his leggies. Does this work? Plug him in? Yeah. <laughs> Very large. Yes. All right, we're gonna turn them on just to make sure we have clearance, everything still works, and see how it looks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Are you happy with that? I love it. Everything's glued up, so now, I, now we can... We have to bulk up the legs a little bit with pool noodles before we put the costume on. Pennywise's costume in the latest movie is mostly silver. So he's got a silver shirt, big silver poofy shorts. The legs of the spider creature are wrapped up in strips of cloth and they've got ruffles down here and big poofy sleeves. To get all that done, we got some awesome fabric at the thrift store. For the shirt and the shorts, and hopefully we'll get the strips out of this as well, is this, it's just some gray curtains. And I found this, this will give us our ruffles and a little bit of red for the trim around the ruffles and his belt. Thrift stores are the best for fabric because it's so much cheaper than just buying new fabric. So the only mod we did on this outfit so far is just to cut the sleeves off, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because I'm going to make big poofy sleeves. Oh, and we're going to have to cut holes in the front for his, his little front arm yes. things. Yeah. <laughs> This is his head, and the original plan was to make him look like Pennywise the clown. But that involves taking an already awesome looking head and potentially ruining it. What do you think? We have to. Yeah? We have to ruin it to create it better. I mean, our man here, Lucky Bottoms, risked it all at he, the clubs. He did. <laughs> so we're gonna risk it all too, and hopefully not completely ruin this. It's the only way to do him justice. <laughs>
Before we see the final transformation, just want to say thanks for watching. If you like this type of stuff, we got a ton of other videos on the channel, so check those out. Until next time, stay wicked. <laughs>